Hi everyone, it's Gina from Glammy Up, and I wanted to do this tutorial to just show you all how to get these French tip nails that have a silver glitter strip underneath. I don't know if you can really see them very good. Um, but they pretty much look like fake nails and you don't have to go get the acrylic. You can do it all naturally, just blow your nail about a little bit. You can even do these with short nails, so it's pretty simple. It looks like it's difficult, but it's really not bad at all. Um, they even make little strips that you can put underneath of your nail. Um, underneath the white tip if you're not good at keeping a straight line, but it really just takes practice. Um, it took me a while to get everything straight and kept going over it and over it. If you just practice, it's really not bad at all. Um, but you can always start off with those strips that you put underneath the white that keep it straight. Um, so let's get into the tutorial. So the polishes that you're going to need is this Orly French tip, and that's in white tips. You can use any kind of white nail polish that you want. Some of them have skinny brushes, this one is just a regular thick brush. Or you can always use like a nail tip pin for nail art and stuff, but if you're not good at using a thick brush, but I think it's fine, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm using this Essie nail polish in pink glove service as the base coat, just for some color. This is the main base coat that I already have on my nails right now. It's the Sally Hansen Complete Care Extra Moisturizing for in one treatment. And then as a top coat, this is a Z Fast Dry Top Coat. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply the Essie Base Coat. This is actually a regular nail polish. It's not a base coat, but it's so sheer that I like to use it underneath French tip nails just to give it kind of like a pinky color and to cover up any spots on my nails. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that to each finger. Okay, so now that I've got the pink down, I'm going to start with the white tip. It might be hard for you to see the thumb because I have to set it on the edge of the table here. Okay, now you're going to get it on the edge of your nails since I'm using a thick brush, but we can go back and get that off. But I don't really recommend going down too far with the white because then it just doesn't look natural. Try to stick with your natural white. I go a little bit underneath of it, but not too far. Um, most of these nails are all the same length. These are some are kind of broken a little bit, but just if they're short like this, then you're going to have to go down a little bit further because you won't even be able to see any white. But just don't go like halfway down because that just looks really unnatural. So now I'm going to show you how to do these. I like to start with the corner and then just do, it's easiest if you hold the brush still and then turn your hand because then you don't have as much of jagged egg. And only keep a little bit of polish on the brush but enough to cover it completely and then start at the other side. And turn your hand in an easy, in a complete motion. Okay, and you can see that. You might need to go over it like another time if it's not bright enough. Sometimes the polish dips a little bit. If you make a mistake like I did on this one, just take your nail and kind of push it up. But you want to make sure that the base coat is dry because this one wasn't, and I obviously just smeared all the base coat. So I got to go back and redo that one. I recommend when you're doing your right hand and painting with your left, if you're right handed, um, definitely moving your hand instead of moving the brush. It's going to keep it a lot more steady because it is hard to paint with the opposite hand. Go really slow.
Okay, now I'm going to take this Beauty Secrets nail polish dryer spray, and it actually makes your nail polish dry quicker. I've only done the white tips, but I don't want it to smear when I go over it with the top coat and when I clean it up. So you want to make sure everything's dry, because if you smear this, you're really going to notice. So I'm going to spray this. Q-tip. That stuff doesn't dry it completely, it just kind of dries it to the touch. But if you bump it hard, it is going to make a dent. I'm going to soak it in nail polish, and then you want to squeeze off the extra nail polish around the edge of the bottle. I mean, the extra nail polish remover around the edge of the bottle, because you don't want it to be really saturated, because then it's just going to bleed all over and take off all the nail polish. You just want it to be soaked, but not dripping and then go around like this and take off all the stuff that got on your skin. If you made a line too thick or something and you want to clean it up, just take the Q-tip a little bit more wet than this and go over it like this, just underneath. So I'm going to go around and clean up the white edges. Okay, now I'm going to apply the Sush Beat Top Coat. I really love this top coat. It makes your polish stay way longer. You can keep it about over a week, and they stay really, really shiny. Every time I use this, people ask me if I have on fake nails because it just makes them look so solid and shiny, and it makes it last forever. This stuff dries pretty fast too. To the touch, it dries in like a couple minutes. And then within like five minutes, it's completely dry. I love that because I always paint my nails and then go do something. As you can tell, how shiny that is. It's crazy. Okay, um, I forgot to mention that with these base coats, you don't have to use it. You can just leave your nails bare the natural color. I like to have a little bit of color. If you have skin tone kind of like mine, I would recommend like a pinky color. If you have a darker skin tone, you can get a beige color. Or it's even pretty sometimes if you have one that has shimmer in it. But I wouldn't go really dark pink, like something more opaque, because then it's going to look like fake pink and white nails, and that doesn't look too good. So. Make sure it's something kind of sheer, like these S polishes, um, pink or beige, whichever fits your skin tone best and smell of like your natural nail color. Just make it look more like all one color instead of just leaving it completely bare. Or you can just use clear and white. It doesn't really matter. So this is the finished nails, and they're almost dry already. As you can see, these two right here were pretty short because they broke, but I did the um, the white tip all the same length, and you can't even tell that they're shorter than the rest. So even if you do have short nails, you can still do it. As long as you don't go down too far and keep the line pretty thin, it still looks good. But if you can grow them out a little bit, then that helps too, because then you don't get it all over your hands. Like these are a little bit above my fingertips. These nail art, art polishes you can get at Sally's, and I really like these. They have glitter ones solid ones. You could even do a hot pink tip. I've done that before with just this. Or you can line it underneath. I like to do a white tip and add some silver glitter underneath of it. And that makes it look really pretty and it's good for something formal. These are just some colored glitters like pink and green. Um, but I'm going to probably do the silver. And I can show you all how to do that real quick. One of these is more fine than the other one. So I think I'm going to use the thicker glitter. I forgot to do this before the top coat, but that's what you need to do but after you do the white tip and then put the top coat over it. See how it has a really skinny brush? You can just line right underneath that white tip. Okay. You 
can do another layer if you want to show her more apparent. I like it kind of white. Don't use a big glob like that because it will the light somewhere else. It's nice to do the glitter underneath too if you don't get a very good straight line with the white, like if you're not very good at keeping it steady and you have a little bit of like errors. You can just line this underneath with the skinny brush and you want to be able to see it on some of them that I had mistakes on. I'm going to do a second layer real quick just to make it a little bit darker. There you go, this is what it looks like when it's finished. 